Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Star Trek Adventures, Modiphius's 2D20 system, and what that system taught me about Star Trek. So I am extremely impressed with Star Trek Adventures, Modiphius's 2D20 tabletop role-playing game. What it accomplished is it actually tied rules to the Star Trek world in a way where the rules mechanically reveal Star Trek to the game to the dungeon master and to the player. All right, so let's let's jump in and talk about this. So two things I learned about Star Trek from playing Star Trek Adventures. So first of all, uh, in the link below, you will see a link to my playlist that actually defines um, all of the my current Star Trek Adventures um, campaign, right? Uh, and so you, you don't have to wonder, you know, what I'm or how the story's going to listen to it. You don't need to listen to it to understand this video. OK, so so I'm running a Star Trek Adventures campaign and it taught me a couple things about Star Trek. So let's jump into it. Um, so the first thing it taught me about Star Trek is the transporter. It made me think because I need to use the transporter in my story. I had to think very carefully about how the transporter works. So here's how the transporter actually works on Star Trek. And then we're going to talk about the limitation that I realized. Okay. So first of all, you can tran if you are uh, a Starfleet officer, you can transport somebody from your, from your enterprise. You can, you know, and we're using the NX-01. You can transport somebody off of the enterprise to a planet to a space station, to another starship, okay? What you can't do, and I don't think this has been done on any episode, and even if it was done, it was extremely rare, and it was made very clear that this was outrageously dangerous, is you cannot transport someone from on board the ship to another part of the ship, right? There's a whole bunch of reasons why this is outrageously dangerous, right? It would be kind of like trying to fix the engine in your car while your car is running, right? Just terrible idea from 50 different levels. So you cannot transport somebody from within the ship to another location within the ship. It doesn't work, right? And I didn't really realize this until I was running, um, you know, a, a Star Trek Adventures campaign and the player characters needed to do it. And I was like, I don't remember seeing that in any episode. You can't do that, right? And actually, I did say, you know, you could attempt it, but you're probably going to slice them in 15 parts because this is not a thing, right? So that was very surprising to me. The next one is drones. So Star Trek has this very weird situation with drones, right? So Star Trek is a past show about a future Earth, right? And it has a cyberpunk problem. Cyberpunk has the same issue. In the past, cyberpunk predicted the future and then it's clear that the future is not going to happen the way that cyberpunk cyberpunk predicted it it's the same thing for star trek star trek has this really wild issue where right now drones have never been in any star trek show ever right also they don't really use robots right well actually i guess that's actually they do use androids but data is indiscernible from another human being. They really don't use robots and they definitely do not use drones. But now in our world, drones have turned out to be outrageously useful to be able to do things that you cannot do with a human, that you cannot do with a robot, that you cannot do with an Android. And drones are all over and are solving tons and tons and tons of technological problems but they don't fit in Star Trek because they have never been in Star Trek, right? But if you're going to apply technological solutions to problems the way happens in every single Starfleet uh, mission, right? Anyone playing Star, you know, Starfleet, a Star, a Star Trek Adventures game today will think, oh, well, I would do that with drones. But drones actually do not exist within the Star Trek universe. That is really fascinating, right? And just running, and I don't, I don't think that can be fixed, right? I really feel like if you're going to run Star Trek Adventures, you cannot introduce drones because it doesn't feel like Star like Star Trek, and it certainly doesn't feel like Star Wars either, right? It's just like 
you would need to build a new IP to, to actually use drones, right? And it's really fascinating. So drones do not fit in the Star Trek universe. Very unusual, like, lesson to learn about Star Trek from running Star Trek adventures. But those are two things that I've really learned that, that really shocked me, right? One, you cannot transport from within the ship to another point in, within the ship, according to Star Trek canon. And two, we have this weird problem where any real technologically savvy human today will solve technological problems with drones, but that cannot be done anywhere in Star Trek Adventures because it does not fit Star Trek canon. Very unusual. So I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for letting me share it with you. Please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennium.